okay? What you have on this final lead, this is the most critical lead. I'll say it again. This is the most critical lead not to screw up. Very simple. The lead that actually has two leads coming into it, one ring connector, goes to terminal 9, where the actual ground symbol is. Now, why it actually has two leads going into it, once again, is from the connector's actual pin number four, which is the unit's ground, the connector's ground for your spindle, that's this yellow with green stripe lead. The one next to it, that's a silicone extension, and you can see it right here, that is extending the shield drain from your tin braided copper shielding as well as your mylar foil shielding on your double shielded cable. And once again, I stated a double shielded cable. You should not be using a single shielded cable with any VFD spindle application. It is not best practice. The odds of you not mitigating both forms of EMI are going to be massive and the potential for EMI interference is massive. So this video covers everything. If you watch this video, and hopefully many of my novices out there will watch this video, you cannot screw this up. I mean, it's right here in front of you. If you buy the cable from me, I get asked this a lot, are these cables pre-made? And you can see everything is done. As a matter of fact, I hope in the video she can pick up. There's a gold tint on these actual ring connectors, and you can see it if I shimmer them. And that gold tint that you see is because I'm using deoxic gold to actually protect and enhance these connectors. Okay? You're not familiar with the Oxid Gold? Check it out. You're looking at an additional $10. Look at how small this vial is. NASA uses this. This is amazing stuff. Um, it saved my butt numerous times, and it will save your system the long run as far as protection and enhancement. All of these connectors inside this cable also have protection with this. Okay?